Madness. Well, there's an adult skills uh, lifetime Madness. guarantee brought Madness. in on education for adults. Can I just say okay. how frustrating it is to have people sitting here who happily locked children in their homes, in their bedrooms, for the best part of 18 months, telling me that they care about poor children's education. Okay, Julia. You're an outrage, both right. of you, an okay. outrage. Right. I'm really right here this evening, so I'm going to come to another one from Bergina. Bergina Jelak, yep. if I pronounce that right, I hope so. Well done. <laughs> Um, I just stop all latest protests hurting their own cause. So let's just remind us as a just stop oil members and they are a group that basically want to stop um, uh, uh, new licenses and production of fossil fuels in this country. They threw I think it was tomato soup um, at, at uh, Van Gogh sunflowers. They doing themselves to roads, targeted luxury car showrooms. I think they, they put some cream cake or something like that over King Charles's uh, waxwork at Two Swords. But the idea that we can't protest, there's a new law saying that we, we, we mustn't make noise when we protest. It's a protest. Noise is part of the definition. Um, I, so I'm very, very reluctant about advocating any further kind of restrictions on how people behave like that. Julia? Um, I do think they're harming their cause. I completely disagree with you, Armando. I don't think they do have a just cause. Um, I don't want to just stop oil. I want to keep oil. I want to uh, keep gas and fossil fuels. The reason why we live the lives we do in the West in the 21st century is thank God for fossil fuels, which delivered the Industrial Revolution. I would like that Industrial Revolution delivered to everyone around the world, the billions of people who survive on you know, a couple of dollars a day uh, and are scrabbling around for, to have a, make a life for themselves and keep their children alive. So, I think Julia, so I when think you've got the UN saying, as on is referring to that there's no credible pathway now it's to complete reach load of nonsense. Five. That's not backed up by the latest IPCC. Okay, well, uh, listen, it is I, I don't know. Uh, maybe you know better than the UN. This is it's what the not. UN are saying, it's and that the current policies public. may lead to 2.8 degrees it, it, it warming these, this these, century. Those, those climate models have been, they have been exposed as complete nonsense again and again and again. They are the most extreme end of the scientific models contained in those IPCC reports. But the point is, even if it were true, even if it were, would that necessarily be an issue? But that's aside the point for the kind of protest we're seeing. Because I think the issue here is you've got a lot of very entitled middle class people who've led a very nice life. Do we who know want they're to middle stop... class people? They pretty much are, actually, yes. I think we do. Um, they, want to, they, they want to stop other people living names? good lives. Yeah. If you want have you to been have, checking them out individually, if you, want to have, if you want to have um, limits on people's ability to access fuel, you want to make it more expensive to get a plane abroad, to use a, to use a car, to heat your home, you are going to be harming poorer people and you're going to be harming poorer people in the developing world in my view these people are not just what well, i think they're ta they're tantruming toddlers who've clearly never been told no by their parents i think it's time we told them no i think they are deeply deeply immoral in what they're doing it's actually. the developing immoral. world that's saying this has got the world to stop isn't it's the they're developing really world that's saying they're we're really on not. fire they're really not. The world is not on fire and the world is not going to die and we're not going to die. This is catastrophizing stuff that is not actually in the scientific sections of the, the, the IPCC reports. It's not. And there wasn't a pandemic. Uh, and it is. No. Hang on. Of course there was a pandemic. I, of course there was a pandemic. Science is all subjective and it's... <laughs> no, science should be objective. Which is why yes, we shouldn't have yes. politicised statements right. about science. Okay. 99.9% okay. of the science no, tells us that no, the climate is doesn't. facing an utter it catastrophe doesn't. if it hasn't it, started it already. It literally doesn't. You should read some of the scientific reports. They don't back up those political statements. Yeah. They don't. Very, very sadly, because of this point of view, in the Conservative Party... I'm not in the Conservative Party. No, but because of the point of view that exists... Our Prime Minister announced today that despite us chairing COP, he will not be going to the next COP in Egypt. And that's why these young people are on the street. And can, can I say, I long for a Labour government, if only for one thing, because we will not be granting new licences for oil and gas. Great. Because we're serious. And we can all be cold. And we can all be cold. And look, I remember protesting when I was young against apartheid. I remember protesting against the poll tax. We are a mature democracy defending freedom in Europe. Of course there must be a right to protest. We don't need any more laws. Absolutely right, the laws exist. I don't personally support stopping ambulances being able to get down the road and, and you know, cementing yourself to the ground and that sort of thing. But the right to protest must be sacrosanct in a civilised democracy and we should not let them take it away.
All right, let's a lot of hands up. Oh, look, the woman there in the blue top. Yes. I always don't want to give credence to what Julia said because I think oh. a lot of us here do not believe it. Well, in that case, it um, must be wrong. I'm interested to know if you want to live in a world with fossil fuels, the sort of lives that your children and children's 100%. children are going to le lead, if that's the case. I think my question is more, what do the panel think is the best way to, given that Rishi Sunak is not attending COP, given that you, the UN report said that there's no uh, credible pathway to, to get below 1.5, how do we incentivise politicians to think long-term and not focus on short-term party political infighting and actually focus on the things that are really, really going to affect our generations. OK. Woman here in the stripy T-shirt at the front. Um, I think it's a bit ridiculous to say that like, climate change is just is not as bad as it is because did we not all experience this summer where we got 40 degree heat? Like, that's unheard of. And also the floods that have been happening in Pakistan, like 30 million people displaced. Like, the years ago as well. Yeah, climate refugees is like, that's going to, that's in our future, it's really immediate. And I think this summer should have shown everybody that we thought maybe it's going to be in a few, maybe in a few 30 years time, 2050. But it's happening right now. And I think we really need to take action. It's called weather. Woman. <laughs> Julia, you know that the consensus of scientists, you know that the, listen, you know that the consensus of scientists, these things are happening more often. I, I mean, I don't think I, that is um, in dispute. No, no I, <laughs> actually, the IPCC report past five years no, hottest on record, for example. That there, that actually, there is, there, is, there is actually not consensus on the idea that actually a lot of these extreme weather events are happening okay. more often. Okay, I'll leave that with you. They're not. We're we'll here in the stripy top.